Binary search will be a topic of this video because today, in April Lead Code Challenge, we have problem search in rotated sorted array. And just like yesterday with this problem, I could plug in my dynamic programming lectures on YouTube. Today I recommend for you my binary search 28 minute lecture where I covered this problem in detail already. Uh, the statement is there was a sorted array and somebody rotated it, took some part of it like let's say 0, 1, 2 and moved to the end. No, something like this uh, we, is what we have. In this array we need to find target or report that it is not there. So if, array if array wasn't shifted then it would be just binary search, standard binary search in an increasing sequence. Now it must be some harder version of that. And there are two ways to approach such a problem. One is to first use binary search to find the, the, like the shift or let's say the minimum element. In, in this array, you can ask about middle element and you need to decide in some way if, if you are still in this bigger part. Like here, it's numbers from 4 to 7, here numbers from 0 to 2. When you ask about this, 6, to decide if you are in the bigger part still, what you need to do is compare with the first element. All numbers in some prefix, they satisfy property of being greater or equal than the first element. So it is something like, if middle element is greater or equal than this, you are still in the, that first part, so you need to go to the right to find minimum. If you're asking about element smaller than the very first one, then uh, you need to go to the left. Or maybe this is the menu. But I'm going to do something, so th this would be first and then second. If we have, you now we split the array into two increasing arrays, not, not explicitly split, we just know where the split is, then we can decide where target is, in which part, and then standard binary search to find target and that would be two times logarithm of n queries I will try today to use something better just single log of n queries where I search well if nums is empty I don't know if it's possible uh, let's see, n is nums size if n is zero return that number is not de there again in my binary search lecture I talk more about intuition about and other problems like this one. Well, interval to search for is not empty, and then I will do something at the end return mine if not found. Let's say x is nums of uh, first mid, middle element. How did I recommend to write this? I think low plus high minus low over 2. But you could also say low plus high over 2. Just there, there is a very fine difference between those. Let's say this value is nums of mid, and if it's target, return the position mid. Otherwise, I need to decide if I go to the left or right. Uh, I can maybe check if I'm in that big part, big meaning numbers still increasing from the very beginning. And for that, I will once make an extra query. Uh, first element is nums of zero. I'm writing that like that and saving a variable because in the alternative version of this problem, this would be a function, a query, and I need to minimize the number of times I access array nums. So let's say I don't want to reuse nums of zero, nums of zero, nums of zero here inside. Because this, in fact, could be some some costly query in your system. Uh, of course here if we have array it doesn't matter. Actually if you are given an array like this one you could just iterate through that because it's still in the memory or well you could make multiple queries so maybe I'm uh, maybe that's not the best idea. Anyway, if value is target then this. m big, let's say i am big, is equal value greater equal than first. Also, this is boolean value. This will be true or false. Bool uh, target big is first greater equal, not target greater equal first. I could of course save that as well and move it here, but I find it easier to read like that. 
Now, if those values are the same, it means I'm, let's say, I'm asking about this element and target is here. I'm in the same increasing part. Then I just need to compare values. Otherwise, if this is target and I'm here, I, don't, I shouldn't compare values. I just need to go to the other half. So if this is the case, so for example, both target and me, the query is in this half, then I need to compare values because this is increasing part. If value, uh, if value is smaller than target, I am too small. I need to go search for something bigger, like I'm asking about five, but target is seven. Then go to the left. Low is mid plus one. Otherwise, high is mid minus one. That was easy and standard part. Otherwise, if I am big, like this, and target is small, if M big, of course, then it means that target is not big because uh, I have this else means now I don't have equality. If I am big, then move to the right uh, because search for target there. Else, high is mid minus one. And this is very complicated binary search. You could, as I said at the beginning, we could do two separate ones, but it would be, we would need to ask more queries. Two times log would be, the complexity is still all of log, but now I'm optimizing the exact number of queries used. I think this is it. While the interval to search in is non-empty, I will continue my binary search. Judging accepted. Uh, cool. As always, all my codes of previous days and this one are in my GitHub repository. Link is somewhere in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.